In this video, we will go to take up one more problem on projections of laminars. How to analyze this problem in 3D and also solve by using the uh, sketchbook. The problem reads as an isosceles triangular plate of negligible thickness has base 25 mm long and altitude 35 mm. It is placed on HP such that in the front view it is seen as an equilateral triangle of 25 mm sides. With the side that is parallel to VP is inclined at 45 degrees to HP. Drawing its top and front views also determine the inclination of the plate with the reference plane. So to do that, so he says it is 25 mm long and altitude 35 mm is, is placed on HP. Such that in the front view is seen as an equilateral triangle. So since it is, it has, the front view is seen as an equilateral triangle, so obviously you have to start the problem from the front view, not from the top view. And it is placed on HP, that means one of the edges seems resting on HP. I mean one of the point is resting on HP. And the side which is parallel to VP is inclined at uh, 45 degrees to HP. So he has given the true inclination in the third position. So first let us see how we will going to be able to place in the initial position. You can see that here. So it is a, a isosceles triangle having a base of 25 mm and the altitude is 35 mm. Okay, that 35 mm is not shown here, but this length is 35. When you look from the front view, you will go to get any isosceles triangle. So, when you project that, you will go to get this is the isosceles triangle of 25 mm and long and 35 mm altitude. And uh, this is placed on HP. So, you can see that C dash is resting on HP. And then uh, the surface is uh, parallel to VP and perpendicular to HP. Since it is perpendicular to HP, you are getting a line in the front view, oh, sorry, you are getting a line in the top view. As we look from the top view, A is near to the observer, uh, sorry, A is projected onto HP and C is already there and uh, C is already on HP and B is projected onto the HP. So when you look from the top view, B is near to the observer, so B is visible and C is away from the observer, so it becomes invisible. So therefore, you are getting the line. So what is the position of the surface with respect to both HP and VP? The surface is parallel to VP and perpendicular to HP. Therefore, in HP you will go to get the um, line and in the front view that is in VP you will go to get since it is parallel to VP so you are getting the true length in VP. So this is how you will be able to analyze uh, the pentagonal uh, sorry uh, isosceles triangle in the three dimension. How to write this in orthography? First, we will go to draw the xy line and you mark VP and HP. So, since we have to start the problem in the front view, so first what I need to do is you keep a point on xy line and from there you measure uh, 25 mm and, and take the midpoint of the 25 which will go to be 12.5 and then a horizon, draw a horizontal line. And from by using the compass and you measure the distance of the defined with this as center, this horizontal, uh, this point, this as center, cut an arc on this line for a distance of 35. Then mark this point as A dash, you mark this point as uh, B dash and you mark this point as C dash. Then join A dash to C dash and A dash to B dash and B dash to C dash with a dot line. So this is how you will be able to get the front view and take any convenient uh, distance from the XY line and then you draw a horizontal line and draw a vertical projector from A dash to the top view and draw a vertical projector from B dash and C dash to the top view and then at any convenient distance draw your horizontal line and as you look from the top view A is near to the observer so A is visible B dash is near to the observer so B is visible and C dash is away from the observer so C is invisible then join A to B with a dark line so this is all what is the position of this isosceles triangle it is parallel to VP and perpendicular to HP therefore you are getting a line in the horizontal plane and since it is parallel to VP, so you are getting the true shape in VP. So this is how you will be able to write the initial position of the front view and top view in this sketchbook. Then he says it is rotated such that the front view will going to become an equilateral triangle. You don't know what is the angle at which you will going to be rotated. So what you need to do is 
with A, by holding the point A, you rotate this uh, uh, isosceles triangle, which was, uh, which is here, by a certain angle, such that its front view will going to become at equilateral triangle. So you can see that this side will be 25 and uh, a dash c dash is also will be equal to 25 and a dash b dash is also equal to 25. Then that becomes an equilateral triangle. So since this side, till this side will going to become 25, till such distance I need to rotate. So when you rotate this, you can see when you look from the top view, this is the point A and this is the point B and this is the point C. So this has to become an equilateral triangle here in the front view. So this is how you will be able to write the initial po second position front view and also the second position top view. What is the position of the uh, front view and top view in the second position? The surface is inclined to VP since the surface is inclined to VP and perpendicular to HP. Since it is perpendicular to HP, you are getting a line in the HP. And since it is inclined, so you will going to get an equilateral triangle. A dash, B dash, B dash, C dash, B dash, C dash, A dash. All these three, three sides are equal, which is equal to 25 mm. So when it makes an angle of certain angle, then at that angle, you will going to get an equilateral triangle of 25. In other words, you draw an equilateral triangle of 25 mm in the second position front view. And then by using the projector, you rotate it such that you measure the distance from here to here and you cut it on this side. So you will going to get the inclination. At certain incl at some inclination, you will going to get an equilateral triangle of 25 mm side. This is what it means here. Then how to write this in uh, orthographic view? So what you need to do is draw your horizontal projector from A dash to the second position front view. Then you consider draw a horizontal projector from B dash and also from C dash and you take any convenient distance and draw a vertical line here and you mark that point as B dash and C dash. Then with C dash as center take a radius of uh, 25 mm by using the compass you draw an arc on this horizontal projector of A dash and to ensure whether it is right or wrong again from B dash with the same radius of 25 cut off the previous drawn arc. Both these two arcs we are going to intersect at this point which is the same point which we have projected from A dash from the first position front view. So you draw, then you mark this A dash, B dash and C dash and join these three lines with a dot line. Then you draw a horizontal projector from A and draw a vertical projector from A dash. These two lines will going to intersect at this point and you mark this point as A dash, sorry A. Then you draw a vertical projector from B dash and C dash to the top view and you measure this distance by using the compass you measure the distance from A to B of the first position top view with A center cut on the previously drawn vertical projector from B dash and C dash to the top view and you mark that point as B and C in bracket then join A to B with a dot line and you measure the inclination of the lamina with respect to the vertical plane so this is how you will be able to write the second position front view and top view and the edge which is uh, parallel to VP, which is the edge which is parallel to VP, BC is the edge. That B dash BC is inclined to HP, that B dash C dash is inclined to HP at 45 degrees. What I need to do is, I need to rotate this B, BC by an angle of 45 degrees. So, once you rotate this by an angle of 45 degrees, now BC is perpendicular to VP, sorry, perpendicular to HP and parallel to VP. Since it is parallel to VP, you are getting the true length in VP. And since the inclination is given is also true inclination, you rewrite the second position front view by rotating at an angle of 45 degree with respect to HP. So that is what we have done here. So that means when you rotate this, when you rotate this, then what happens? This will be rotating, then B dash, C dash is rotating. Initially that BC is perpendicular now you are rotating by an angle of 45 degrees here, BC. Then accordingly that point A will also be rotated. Okay. So when you look from the top view, A is projected down to HP, C is already there and B is projected down to HP. So then complete this triangle in the top view. So this is the front view triangle what you will going to get. So
So this is how you will be able to analyze this problem in three dimension that ABC which containing the grey color is the actual position of the isosceles triangle in the final position. So how to write this in orthographic view? So you take any convenient distance from, uh, from this C dash to this and you mark that point as C dash. Then uh, draw a, from, th from C dash with respect to the horizontal line, you draw a line which is inclined at 45 degrees. Then you measure the distance from C dash to B dash by using the compass with C dash as center, cut an arc on this uh, 45 degree line and you mark that point as B dash. Then with the same radius of 25, with C dash as center, you draw an arc and similarly with B dash as center, cut on the previous theta on arc and you mark that point as A dash. Then join A dash to B dash, B dash to C dash and C dash to A dash with a dark line. Then draw a vertical projector from A dash to the top view and draw a horizontal projector from A. Both these two lines will go to intersect at this point. Similarly, a draw a horizontal projector from B and C from the top view. Then draw a vertical projector from C dash to this uh, horizontally drawn line. Similarly, from B dash also you draw it to the horizontally drawn line from B dash B C. Then you mark this point as small b and you mark this point as small c and this as small a. Then join a to b, b to c, c to a with a dot line. So this is how you will be able to analyze the problem in three dimension and also solve this by using the sketchbook. How do I know that my problem is right? The It is a isosceles triangle of 35 by, uh, sorry, 25 by 35 mm such that it is resting on HP and it becomes an equilateral triangle when this uh, uh, isosceles triangle being rotated. What is the angle? So what is the angle? The angle what you write is the measure the angle which is 52 degrees with respect to the vertical plane. Then, uh, then uh, with the you measure the distance from uh, draw a you take any convenient distance from C dash uh, mark this point throw C dash with respect to the XY line by using the protractor you measure an angle of 45 degrees then with C dash as center uh, measure the radius of C dash B dash of the second position front view and cut an arc on this uh, 45 degree line and you mark that point as B dash C then with C dash as center Take the same radius of 25, draw an R with B dash as center, cut on the previously drawn R. Join A dash, C dash and C dash, B dash and B dash, A dash with a dark line. So this is how you will be able to write uh, the third position front view. And here the edge which is uh, perpendicular, which is parallel to VP. Since it is parallel to VP, you are getting the true length. And since the inclination given is also a true inclination, we are rewriting the same sketch by rotating at an angle of 45 degrees. Then how to write the third position top view with a dash as center, draw a vertical projector to the top view and draw a horizontal projector from with a, a to this point and you mark that point as A. Similarly, draw a vertical projector from B dash to the top view and draw a horizontal projector from B and C. So that these two lines will going to intersect at this point, you mark this point as B and draw a vertical projector from C dash and you are already drawn a horizontal projector from B and C. Both these two lines will going to intersect at this point, you mark this point as C, join A to B, B to C, C to A with a dot line. By using the protractor, you measure this inclination with respect to the horizontal line which will going to be the 52 degrees. So this is how you will be able to write the solution by using the sketchbook. How do I know that my problem is right? The edge which is parallel to VP is inclined at 45 degrees to HP. And when this is being rotated such that its front view will going to become a square of 25 mm sides. And then it is resting on HP such that an isosceles triangular plate of base is 25 mm and the altitude is 35. This is the altitude what we are talking about. It is not this distance, that is A dash, C dash is not the distance. 
it is the distance from a dash to this horizontal line where it is drawn that is actually the 35 mm distance so since we have incorporated all the data which was given in the problem into our solution and hence our problem is right thank you